Hey everybody, it's Gumplamelli. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really cool review for you guys that I've been wanting to do for a while. And I'm actually going to be talking about this guy right here. I'm just going to tell you right now, I'm in love with this model. It, it's absolutely fantastic. Like, I have nothing bad to say. So if you don't want to watch the video, I'm going to tell you right now, just go and buy it because this thing is amazing. So anyways, I know I said the conclusion now, but I just want to let you guys know that this kit is freaking amazing and I love it. So anyways, this is the box. You know, nothing really epic about the box art. It's just okay. You know, it would have been nice had they designed something, but you know, it is what it is. And here you have some information on the sides. You can see all the articulation, poses, you know, the different hands that you get. Overall, pretty cool. Again, I would have liked like more art, but you know. And it even has English information on the size as well. Just giving some details and things like that on the model. Uh, before I get into the rest of the review, I just wanted to talk about the pricing on this kit. It was $2,300, $2,350. I picked this up at Yodobashi Camera. Because again, it was like... For those who don't know, I was in Japan recently and there's a few things that were on my list to get and one of them were Dragon Ball Z models. I do have, I think, one that I got when they, they first released Dragon Ball Z models back in the day. It was a 1100 scale, I think it was 1100 scale Master Grade Goku. I'll put a picture somewhere. He's actually somewhere down there. But that was the first one I got and for some reason, I don't know, I was unsure of whether I wanted to kind of get into Dragon Ball Z models because with me it's like I go all in on something, uh, as you guys can see from my <laughs> tons of gumpla back there. So it's like the Pokemon models, I, I'm getting mixed up here, but like I have a few Pokemon models, but those are all small and e easily affordable. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll get into Pokemon. And then I have some Digimon models as well because I'm a big Digimon fan, but it's like, do I really want to get into Dragon Ball Z models? Because once I start, like, I'm going to want to get all of them, you know? So it's like, do I want to get into Dragon Ball Z models? And, you know, it's like, yes, I do. So here's a start. I went to Japan. I was planning on buying a whole bunch. But unfortunately, or fortunately, I guess, for my wallet, there were, like, none. No, no, no. I wanted Frieza. I wanted the Vegeta's. Um, this is Saiyan Pod. I wanted a bunch of things. I wanted Cell, Gohan, but um, yeah, there were none, none, none. But at least I was able to get these. These are brand new. Well, not brand new, but very recent releases that Bandai has put out. I got Vegeta and Goku. Vegeta, of course, because he's one of my favorite characters, if not my favorite character aside from Team Gohan. But I had to get this. So I had no idea getting into this model. I didn't know if this was going to be like a entry grade, very simple put together thing. But I'm like, I don't care. I want it. I'm going to get it. And um, yeah, so let's get into the review. Vegeta. Prince of all Saiyans. So this is the front. Here you get in color, which is really nice. I wasn't expecting this. Colored instructions on how to put all the parts together. And obviously some more instructions on the back that are not in color. But hey, half of it's in color, so you can't go wrong. Here you got some information, some poses. And that's basically it for the manual. Now let's get into all the accessories that the kit comes with. And you get quite a few different options. So first of all, you get a stand, which is really nice because stands can average anywhere from like $8 on the low end to $15. So it's pretty nice that for the price range of this kit, which is already super cheap, you get a stand. So big plus for that. You get a significant amount of hands. These are not all of them, by the way. Um, you have two, four, six, eight, ten. Well, ten. Ten hands, yes. But five, technically. There are five different versions. So there's some up top here. And let me move the camera down. So tons of different hands, which is awesome because you can pose them in a bunch of different ways using these hands, which is a plus again. I 
didn't anticipate all this. I thought maybe you would get two sets. Considering, again, how cheap this kit is. Remember guys, this was like a $23 kit. You get all this. So my mind was blown. Clearly, it still is. You also get the set of arms right here. They kind of sitting like in front of his chest. I'll show you guys what it looks like. So actually, instead of five, you get six, really. Six different kind of hand. Oh, I was upside down. No wonder it looked weird. There you go. Now you can kind of see what the poses is. So you get this ones as well. Moving on to the head or faces, you do get four different faces and let me show you guys up close now what's really cool is yeah you guys can see these eyes they are not stickers eyebrows are not stickers the white is not a sticker the pupil is not a sticker these are all parts they're individual parts which is really really amazing again for the price point that you're getting that's fantastic i thought these were going to be stickers so here's another face again that white teeth that's not a sticker that's a plastic part. So it really gives it that additional level of depth. And you can see here, look at the, the lines underneath the eyes. Just the way they sculpted this, I think looks really good. It was really well done. Well done, Bandai, well done. Here you have the open mouth. Again, that's not a sticker. That's an actual part. And the last face, his smirking one. All right, so there's the kit. Now let's get into the articulation of this guy. So starting off here at the head, you can, oop, a little too much there. Again, you don't want to do it too much because the head will pop off. Pop off. It's not focusing. Let me zoom out just a little bit. So he can look up about that much and look down that much. And now, as you guys can see, this neck is articulated. So aside, aside from just having, you know, the head is on a ball joint, but you guys can see that there is some articulation in this upper neck area. So you get obviously more dynamic posing because of that. He can move to the side and the other side, the head does pop off kind of a little bit easy. So you have to kind of be a little gentle with him but yep the head full 360 which is really wrong <laughs> but yeah so for the shoulder here you can bring it out this far forward and pop back into place he can bring it about this far high the shoulder can do a full 360 all the way around he can bend the forearm about 90, maybe a little bit more than 90 degrees right there. And the wrist here, you can do a full 360. And just the focus, I'm just having technical difficulties today, guys, clearly. There is some bend in here. If I could, you just kind of, here, I'll show you. It's just kind of awkward. The camera is not willing to focus. There, you see how it connects right there? It's just kind of like an awkward, but once you get you, there you go. Once you have it lined up right, you know, you can kind of bend his hand inward, outward, there you go. So in different directions, it's just, you gotta make sure that it's kind of in correctly. The chest as well, as you guys see, is also articulated. He's got some serious ab crunch action going on which is always a plus and it kind of blends seamlessly here into his Saiyan armor. So it doesn't give that, you know, appearance that it's like a, like a, a seam line almost what I'm saying. Now moving on to his waist, his waist is really well articulated. He can do a full 360 booty cheeks all the way around. And here you can see him pop a leg off so I can better show you guys. This can go up and down, so it's kind of, you know, extra articulation for the kid. The one thing I honestly would have to say is my biggest issue is the gap that she's got going on down here. It's like a piece of flesh is missing. It just doesn't look natural. 
that's the one main issue I have with this kit is on honestly that so you it you it really won't be noticeable only in certain poses on how you have his legs positioned but it's there there's no ifs ands or buts I'm not gonna sugarcoat it it's pretty fugly but you know it is what it is you can also see here some of the seam lines a little unsightly but they did try to blend this in with his muscles here are the ones in the back the seam lines here and you can see a little bit of the numb marks that need to sand down for our, the articulation of the leg he can kick really far out and again because there's two pieces right here you can kind of really get it all the way up there but you pretty much do a split so and backwards so very very well all the way out Telling this guy can go full on split. I want to show you guys a little bit up close more about the knee. It's two individual parts, so you can see it's pretty cool how they engineered this. So I'm telling you, I'm not lying when you when I say that you get a ton of articulation with this guy. For the feet as well, you get a toe crunch. Hell yeah. Love that piece on models when it's articulated. And Look at that. I mean, yes, it's hideous, you know, but if you can put in a pose where you can't really see it, like maybe from the front, it's not such an obvious um, missing piece of flesh back there. Poseability inwards, outwards, toe kick, no toe kick. So, you know, ultimate kick on the head right there. Bam. Now, let's take a look at the size of this guy compared to other models. Here he is standing next to some of my models. Here we got your Suleta model, High Grade Zaku, Master Grade Art 782, and my very, very old and first Dragon Ball Z model kit, the 1 100 skill Goku. This guy's like 12 years old, had him for a very long time. Ignore his broken hand. It broke, and I was never able to fix it. Um, I tried super glue, yeah, didn't work, but unfortunately, unfortunately, he's gonna stay that way, but as you guys can see, he's a little bit on the smaller side, but again, you know, the Prince of All Saints, we know he's a shorter man, all right? He's a little on the short side, so I think uh, the height that he is is pretty good. So I do have a Goku model, the same one, same line that this guy came out in, I have yet to build him, but what I do, I'll see, you know, I can show you guys on that video how he compares to the Goku, ver Goku version. But there we go. So now you guys can see how small or how big he really is. And now time for some B-roll footage showing you guys his action poses. Do I think you guys should pick this up? Absolutely. If you're sitting on the fence and you're like, I don't know if I really want to, it's mm, yes, go for it. Not only is this kit priced very, I like, I'm shocked that this thing was, I think, I think with the conversion rate, I paid like $18 maybe or less. Like, I'm shocked that I got this one, that this model is priced at $18. It's absolutely a fantastic price for what you're getting. He's so well articulated. You get well, not, you don't get really accessories, but you do get various different hands and faces. So that was a nice plus. I wasn't expecting that for that price. I thought it was just gonna have one set of hands and a face, but that's really cool that Bandai included all that in that price range. And it's just really good. Like I, I really don't have anything bad really to kind of nitpick at this kit. I do kind of wish 
the paint job was a little different. Like, I don't know, something just... I don't, it looks a little flat. I can't put my finger on it. But again, if you don't like the paint job, you can always paint. Those are easy fixes if you know how to paint. If you don't know how to paint, they're not so easy fixes. But honestly, out of the box, I think this kit looks great. And I had a lot of fun kind of posing him around. I'm definitely going to build Goku as well. But it kind of just leaves me a little sad because... I don't have any other Dragon Ball Z models and I looked on some websites and they're all sold out but it looks like there are some up for pre-order now I don't know how different these new spec versions compare to the regular figure eyes so I have to I can't really make that comparison yet but when I do I definitely will I like his proportions I like everything about this model like I literally can't find anything bad to say so that's going to basically sum up my entire conclusion. It's really cheap. He's affordable. I had so much fun putting him together. You do not put this guy together in like 5-10 minutes, by the way. It's going to take you a little bit longer. So I always like that. I don't like, you know, it kind of sucks. Well, it doesn't suck, but you do get to sit down and take some time to put him together. So you get your money's worth for sure and your time. And he's so well articulated. It's just big thumbs up big thumbs up. I want to say he's probably in my top five favorite models that I've built so far this year. So that's saying a lot for me. Um, so yeah, as you guys can see, I'm super sold. I'm definitely looking forward to building Goku. And yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you around for the next one. Adios. And as always, I want to give a big thank you to all the people over my Patreon for always supporting my channel, especially my gold tier members who are Chris Wright and Michael Lyons, my silver tier, Rico Stealth and The Gunsmith, and all my ultimate fans who are Hassan Boss, Irvin Jebito On, Skelty12, William Tony. Thank you guys for all the support.